guys, this is Melina Fitness. Butts and Guts is a high intensity, full body strength and conditioning workout that's going to target your butt and thighs and your core. So if you're ready to get started, we're gonna go ahead and warm up. I want your feet to be in a neutral position and I want you just to do a, a little bit of a squat with a reach. So halfway down, squat and reach. You don't need to go super low, we're just warming up the body. We're gonna be doing this warm up in all of our Butts and Guts workouts. So get used to this warm up as we move along into the series and the workouts to come here at Jimra. Good, we're gonna do about four more. Three, just opening up the chest. Two, pushing our weight back into our heels. And one, good. Go ahead and bring your hands into your chest and just twist side to side. Warming up that core. So we're working our core today, we're working our butt and thighs. I don't want you to move the hips, I just want you to move that waistline. Good. Just like that. Let's go ahead and bring our feet a little bit wider. Continue that twisting movement. Here in our butts and guts warm up. Ready to work our core, our booty, our thighs. Burn some calories, burn some fat. Okay, we're gonna go into some hamstring kicks. We're just gonna warm up the back of our legs and continuing to work our core. We're gonna do about 10 more of these. Feel a stretch up the back of the legs. You want to try to keep your foot flexed and your leg as straight as you can. Four more. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and bring our heels back to our butt. Should be getting pretty warm here. We're going to start to pick up the pace a little bit. Your heart rate's going to get elevated on and off throughout these butts and guts series. It's just a good thing, okay? Heart rate's gonna go up and drop, up and drop, just depending on the different workouts that we're doing. Good, and let's go into a little lateral jump. Opening up the hips, side to side. Keeping our core tight. So you're bending down to about a 45 degree angle. And you're just moving side to side laterally, keeping those feet parallel. Working those outer thighs open and close. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Few more, good. Okay, moving on, nice and warm. We're gonna put our feet wide. So instead of a neutral position, we're gonna go a little bit wider, toes out just a hair. You're gonna drop down into a wide squat. You're gonna press at the top. Drop and press, drop and press, drop, press, drop. Press, good. Now we're gonna add a little jump. Squat, jump, squat, jump, good. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, feeling that burn. And one, good, back into the lateral jumps. Let's go for 20. One, two, three, four, five. Abs tight, butt pushed back, land on those heels. Wide, 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 good. Task 10. Breathe, should feel that burn through the glutes. Three, two, one, straight back through, wide squat. Squeeze it at the top. Drop and squeeze. Drop and squeeze. Drop and squeeze. That extra squeeze, the top's really gonna target into those glutes, you guys. Drop and squeeze. And squeeze. Good, we're gonna add a high knee raise right here, wide. Good, drop, knee up, drop, knee up, drop, knee up. Let's do 10 more. Nine, up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good.
squat and press. We're gonna keep moving throughout this whole workout. Not a lot of breaks. My goal is to get you guys burning calories, blasting fat in our thighs, in our midsection, in about a 20 minute segment. We're gonna work really, really hard in these workouts. Seven more. Six, make sure you squeeze at the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to picking a knee up. This time you're gonna touch your ankle, okay? As you touch that ankle, your core gets engaged a little bit more rather than just doing this, right? Squat, touch the ankle. You're working your outer obliques, your ab muscles a lot harder. Here we go, 20 reps. One, two, three, four, five. Whew, feel that burn, six. Bring that knee up as high as you can. Touch that ankle. Last few right here. Stay with me. Good, last two and one. Awesome job, you guys. We're gonna go straight into some jumping jacks. We're gonna get that heart rate right up. Wide arms, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squat, jack, here we go. Making it a little bit harder. Squat jack, we're combining the jack movement with a squat, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks, here we go. 20, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, heart rate's up, and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to squat jacks, go. 15, two, three, four, push to those heels, push that weight back, keep those abs nice and tight. Those legs should be on fire, that butt should be on fire. Any jumping exercise, guys, really targets that fat blasting that we all want. Last five. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna sidestep it out. We're gonna drop the heart rate just a little bit. We're gonna go back into that wide squat with a squeeze. We're gonna change that up again. So we're taking this butts and guts series to a whole new level with some intensity. Some of the basic movements you may or may not know, right? Here we go. Wide stance, toes slightly out, drop. Squeeze it at the top. Drop, squeeze it at the top. Drop, squeeze. Now we're gonna come up on our toes. Here we go. So you're gonna drop, and you're gonna squeeze all the way up on those toes. Really engaging that glute hamstring tie-in. Back of that leg, up into that glute. This is what everybody wants. Nice shape too. Squeeze, breathe, up on the toes. Drop. We've got about 10 more here. Here we go. 10. Nice. Get as low as you can. Elevating up, squeezing. Last five. Stay with me. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice. We're gonna sidestep it out. We're gonna go back to some wide squat jacks. We're gonna keep our body a little bit lower this time. So, you're in that wide squat. You bring those feet together. Here we go. This is a little bit difficult for some of you. If it is, you can always go back here, right? Five. Four, three, two, one. Squat with the toe. Squat on the toe. Here we go. Squat, elevate up. Squat, like a string is lifting you up. 
abs tight, hamstrings tight, glutes tight. Hitting those calves too, right? So we're targeting major muscle areas. We're also hitting those small muscle areas that everybody wants to find. Good. Let's go, 10 more. Nine. Up, abs tight. Eight. Up, seven. Shoulders back, six. You don't want an arched back. The back's an important part of your core. So that gut area, you wanna put those shoulders back to keep that gut area nice and flat. Three, two, one. Good, awesome job. Side step it out. We're gonna step nice and wide. We're gonna reach down to our left side or your right first and draw a circle, okay? We're about halfway through, you guys. And we're gonna kick it up even more and target some of those butt and core areas a little bit deeper. Let's go switch sides, three. I call these spinal rotations, a nice stretch. Good, so now we're gonna do what I call standing up crunch. So you're gonna squeeze those hamstrings and glutes, push your booty back, okay, right? Keeping your feet straight and parallel, hands on your hips, and you're gonna squeeze up, okay? Standing up wide, crunching forward, bending forward, working back the legs and the glutes, but also working those abs, right? Here we go. We're gonna do about 30 reps of these. 30 reps, you guys. I really want you to think about the movement, connect the mind to that muscle. You will work 10 times harder, trust me. Squeeze, about 20 more. Good. Nice. I'm really tightening up my core and I'm really tightening up my butt as I go down and my hamstrings, okay? Last 10. You could do these anywhere. Living room, beach, right? Few more, stay with me. Two more and one. So we're gonna go in and add on to this. So you're gonna bend forward, knee up, touch the ankle. Bend forward, knee up, touch the ankle. Bend forward, nice. Breathe. Flat back, lean forward with that chest, okay? Don't let your shoulders hunch forward. Reach. Reach. Let's go about 10 more. That core is really working now. You get a nice stretch of the back of the leg but you're also working those hamstrings and those glutes, butts and guts right here. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, bending forward, up on the toes. Bending forward, up on the toes. Continuing on, these standing up crunches is what I like to call them. Really functional movement here. And we're continuing, moving continuously during this training. So you're constantly, at least in that fat burning zone. For those of you who train with heart rate monitors know, you gotta get your heart rate elevated above a certain level to really make sure you're targeting in that fat burning zone. And that's what we're doing here today. So even if you don't have a heart rate monitor, if you stick with these butts and guts series, you will know that you are gonna be in that fat targeting zone. So again, hands can come up above the head or you can keep them here. Just make sure you squeeze up on those toes. Last five. Four. Three. Two. You can even add a weight. And one, nice. Let's butt kick it out. And remember, anytime you need to take a break, go back to one of the movements I showed you in the warm up. okay? You can go back to this butt kick. You can go into a hamstring kick, okay? Or you can even go into our twists, right? All right, so we're gonna change things up a little bit. 
And we're gonna go ahead and grab a mat, or if you're indoors, that's fine. We're gonna get on our butts, okay? Your feet are gonna stay right in front of you. You wanna put your foot in a flexed position, dig those heels into the ground. We're gonna just lay down on our backs. We're gonna target our hamstrings a little deeper, okay? And our butt. So we're gonna squeeze up, pushing, digging into the ground, squeezing our hamstrings, squeezing our glutes, keeping our core tight, and we're gonna come down. Now, I don't want you to come down all the way, okay? So we're gonna constantly keep those hamstrings in tension. In tension. So you're gonna squeeze up and down, up and down, up and down. So you're still doing a full rep, full range, but you're just not hitting the ground, okay? Now, if you wanna work a little bit harder and you have a chair or a bench or something at home, you can go ahead and put your feet on top of there. You'll get a nice, deeper, um, a de nice deeper pull into that hamstring. Okay? You're gonna feel that really pull and tighten, which is awesome. Back of the legs, okay? Up and down, up and down, squeeze. So we're gonna do about 30 reps of these. We're gonna really get a good burn, okay? Again, squeeze the glute at the top. Keep those abs nice and tight, okay? 15 to go. Fired up, I feel my butt nice and tight, my hamstrings, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Tight, 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 tight. Dig those heels down, dig, dig, dig. And four, three, two, and release. Good, keep those feet right in front of you, all the way up, stretching out the spine and roll down. Keep those hands over the chest. A lot of times I see a lot of people doing this and they use their neck so much when they're doing a sit up, okay? So this is what how I like to do sit ups and this is how I like to teach sit ups and these are really functional, okay? So again, hands right above the chest, rolling up through the spine and rolling down. You don't just wanna plop down, I see that all the time too. So I don't care what kind of ab workout program that you're doing, always want to make sure that you're rolling through the spine, up and down. Digging those heels still into the ground. All of these little tweaks that I'm doing on these movements are going to really help you engage that much more. Okay? Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Control the core. Two. One. Good. Back up, squeeze, hamstring bridge. Tight, tight, tight. Down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe, breathe, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe, you guys. I want your abs tight, your glutes tight, your hamstrings tight. Last 10, here we go. 10, nine, Eight, we're gonna hold it at the top, get ready. Ooh, feel that burn. Two, and hold, squeeze. Pick one leg up, if you can, hold it. Little challenge. And switch. Butts and guts, baby. And switch again. And switch again. Last set, come on, stay with me. And switch. And pull them down. Hold, hold, hold. And slowly roll through the spine, straight through to those sit-ups. Dig those heels in. Don't relax here, we're almost done. All the way up. Hands stay over the chest, so your abs are constantly engaged, okay? If you put that neck and shoulder back down, you're releasing. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can keep that neck and shoulder up. Really get a nice burn. Okay, we're gonna do about 20 more. Really burn out those abs here as we're ending out our first episode of this series, Butts and Guts. Really just conditioning our bottom, our thighs, right, our legs, our core, and burning fat, that's what's most important. We really wanna blast fat in every workout that we do, okay? Nobody wants a gut, everybody wants a really nice butt, right? Last 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, rolling through the spine, up and down, 
four, three, two, nice, and one, good. Pull that back up, straighten it out. All right, very last thing we're gonna do in every single episode of Butts and Guts, or what I call my Butts and Guts crunches, and all they are, you guys, your feet are gonna go out straight in front of you. You're gonna point your toes, you're gonna lock your legs, you're gonna squeeze your butt, you're gonna roll down. Okay, we're gonna do these at the end of every episode here on this Butts and Guts series. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, squeeze your hips, squeeze your core, neck and shoulders come off, arms right in front of you, and you're just gonna pulse right here, breathe. Breathe, make sure you keep your legs locked, you're squeezing those booties, cheeks together, your lower back slightly coming off the ground and back. We're doing 50 reps. Stay with me, last burnout. 25 to go. Breathe. Eight, nine, last 15, here we go. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Burn it, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, you guys, rolling up all the way. Slowly coming up, we're gonna cool it down a little bit here. Awesome job targeting those hamstrings. Come up nice and slow around the front of your mat. We're gonna take a deep breath in, inhale. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna go back to those spinal rotations. Another thing that you'll see often in these butts and guts series. So good for stretching out your core, wringing out your waistline, stretching out your core. Stretching out the back of the leg, the, the hamstring, your IT band, another one, and then we're gonna switch directions. Open up the chest, and another direction. Here we go. One, couple more, two, ringing out the waistline, spinal rotation, three. Inhale, open up the chest. Thank you guys so much for joining in on Butts and Guts Series 1 with Molina Fitness. Until next time, have a great rest of your workouts. What's up, Jimra? It's Laura Myron. We just finished filming our good morning salutation, 15 minutes of yoga. You cannot tell me that you don't have 15 minutes. Get your butt out of bed 15 minutes earlier. It makes a huge difference in how you feel, in your focus, in your energy, in your body. 15 minutes a day. I know you can do this, and I can't wait to see you on the map. <laughs> when you first log in, you'll be asked about your connection speed to ensure that you have the smoothest viewing experience. Click on Settings to adjust your connection at any time. On the Workout page, you'll find a difficulty slider that allows you to choose your fitness level. When switched to Show All, you can browse routines for all levels. To filter the level of difficulty, switch off the Show All button and adjust the slider. Once you've selected your desired level, click on a category to see all the workouts available for that level. If you'd like to view our full-length routines, click on the Video Streaming tab for a selection of workouts in a variety of categories. To familiarize yourself with the app features, click on the Menu tab on the right-hand side of the screen to access the About page. Here you'll find information about all the app features. You can refer back to this page at any time, but if you still have questions that haven't been answered, we're here to help. invite you to join one of 50 free workout programs at jimra.com. 
you're never gonna get bored and you'll have enough workouts to keep you busy for years to come. I know that's exciting. You'll never hit that workout plateau. Let me show you a little bit about what you can expect. When you sign up for a free account on gymra.com, you'll be asked whether you'd like to be assigned a program based on several basic questions about your fitness level and goals. If you'd rather browse the programs and weigh your options, click on no, I do not want any programs. Head to the programs tab and scroll to find a program that fits your needs. As you can see, we cover everything from weight loss to toning and sculpting, yoga, Pilates, abs, lower body, upper body, we have it all. Now let me show you how the programs work. If you've chosen to be on a program, when you log into gymra.com, you'll be directed to the My Program page, featuring your workout of the day. All you have to do is press play and start exercising. To see details about the workout, click on More Info. The animated GIFs below are the individual moves in the routine. Here, you can see your workout at a glance. You also have access to your personalized weekly and monthly calendar. You can change your program by clicking on the Change Program button. Simply click on See All, then select your desired program. Watch the introduction video and check out the details by scrolling down the page. If the program looks like a good fit for you, then simply click on Switch to this program and you're all set. Your new program will start automatically. If you're unable to do the workout, save it for later by clicking on the plus button next to the title. This adds it to my list. I want to thank you for choosing Jimra. I know you have a lot of options. We've spent so much time and effort here to bring you world-class trainers, a huge variety of workouts, and it's all for free. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoy the free workout programs and we'll see you soon.